All right, uh, this is a Honda GX31 uh, four-stroke engine that I worked on in the last video, and I'm ready to reinstall the carburetor, replace the fuel lines, and uh, replace the fuel filter. Okay, so the, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, fish out the old uh, fuel filter uh, from the gas tank. I've got the uh, gas tank lid off. I've got a piece of wire here. Um, made a little hook on the end. I'm going to reach into the gas tank and pull out the old fuel filter. Um, I think the fuel, it's so bad, the line is so bad, I think it just broke off and the fuel filter is actually separated from the fuel line. Yeah. You can see right here how cracked this is. It's just falling apart. So what I'm going to do is, uh, now I'm going to remove the fuel tank and um, I'm going to clean out the fuel tank and, and remo finish removing the fuel lines. Okay, to get the uh, fuel tank off, you need to remove the four bolts here that hold on this uh, pull start recoil assembly. Then you can remove this bottom bracket which holds uh, the, 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 this side of the gas tank on and you can remove the gas tank. So. You can remove this uh, this bottom bracket and pull the tank off. So there's the tank. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and wash it out, and then I'll be back and I'll replace these fuel lines. Okay, so I, I got the fuel tank clean, and I'm going to remove these fuel lines. Uh, the black one is the uh, main fuel line, and uh, this one is your return fuel line. Um, if you buy the fuel line from Honda, it, be, it comes pre-cut and the length of the new fuel line is 11 and a half inches and according to the manual, the fuel line uh, should hang out of the fuel tank 4.4 um, to 4.8 inches, so about 5 inches. And what I did to help insert it into this uh, hole here, because it's kind of hard when these lines are new, is I just cut this uh, fuel line to a point and then I'll uh, once I route it through, I'll, I'll cut the end off and attach the um, uh, fuel filter. So I'm also going to spray some WD-40 on this and uh, insert the fuel line. And once I got it part of the way in there, I can um, you can see it in there sticking out. I'm gonna reach in there and pull it through. And now I'm ready to uh, attach the fuel filter. Okay, so I pulled this fuel line through the through this grommet. Um, so I've left about four and a half inch inches of little over four and a half inches of fuel um, fuel line leaving the tank. So now I'm ready to install my uh, fuel filter. And the first thing I'm going to do is install this fuel fuel line clip or tube clip install the fuel filter and I also uh, cut cut off the uh, end of this so it's squared off uh, the end of the fuel line and I'm going to work the uh, tube clip onto the line and that's on and then that can just go back into the fuel tank So now I am ready to uh, install the um, uh, return line. This is the uh, new return line. Um, this is uh, becomes pre-cut from Honda. Uh, the length is six and a half inches, 
after I put it into the fuel tank, um, uh, 4.9 to 5.3 inches should be hanging out of the out of the fuel tank. So let's remove this, and I'm going to cut the end just to make it easier to insert. Kind of make it into a point. Insert it into the tank, and then. Um, Get my ruler, still rule, and uh, make sure this is about about five inches. Leaving the tank, so I'm gonna leave it right there. So I'm ready to install the gas tank back onto the engine. Now to reinsert the tank onto the engine, uh, you got uh, on each side of the tank. There's two two of these tabs on this side and one tab on this side, and they fit into rubber grommets. So I'm just going to insert those into the grommet. And reattach the uh, bracket. And reattach the starter pull cord and recoil system. Uh, if you want to tighten the uh, starter recoil bolts to spec, uh, they should be tightened to 5.8 inch, or not inch pounds, 5.8 foot pounds. Um, uh, torque wrenches are most accurate whenever the value you're, you're tightening something to uh, falls in the middle of whatever the range is for that torque wrench. And I don't have anything that small, so um, I don't want to, I'm afraid I'll over tighten these, so I'm just going to tighten them by hand, and um, that should be sufficient. All right, so now I'm ready to install the carburetor and uh, attach the fuel lines. First thing I'm going to do is uh, route the fuel lines through this uh, this clip here that helps keep them in place. And I'm going to attach the um, tube clip to the fuel line. And insert the fuel line onto the carburetor. Attach this uh, clip. Um, install the carburetor. Now I can attach the uh, return fuel line. And now I'm ready to uh, reinstall the um, throttle cable. Okay, to uh, reattach the throttle cable, I'm going to slide the cable into the connector on the um, throttle body uh, housing. And slide the cable into the connector. It's hard to do this and hold the camera. Um, And I can tighten this down. Now I'm ready to uh, install the um, air filter housing. Um, so this goes in here like this.
and attach the two nuts that secure the housing and the carburetor to the engine. and tighten it down. Then we attach the uh, air filter. And before I put the uh, cover on, I'm just going to make sure the throttle works smoothly and the choke functions smoothly. And then put the cover on. And I'm ready to put gas in it and start it up. Okay, so I um, I put gas in it off camera. Um, I'm going to choke it. I'm going to prime it. And it's ready to start. And I'm going to let it warm up and I'll be right back. So uh, here's the engine uh, completely uh, reassembled and warmed up and I'll go ahead and start it for you. So uh, as you can see, it accelerates smoothly, uh, idle smooth, so it's uh, good to go. Thanks for watching.